hello and welcome to this affinity photo beginner's guide sort of looking at the white balance adjustment now the white balance adjustment can be found in two ways you can come up here to the layer menu down to new adjustment and then you have white balance or you can use a key keyboard shortcut of alt and w on the pc and i'm guessing that's an op option and w on the mac and the other way is to come down to the layers panel here and in this half black and white circle click on that and come to white balance now basically white balance it sort of helps you control the light temperature in an image now light temperature is measured in kelvin which is pretty much a sort of a way of measuring heat um, much like fahrenheit and celsius is but it's not really as far as the layman is concerned anyway it's not really used for measuring sort of heat like fahrenheit and celsius is nowadays it's mainly used for sort of photography and the heat of light so so like this image here which I got from Pixabay is quite a warm image because you've got all these oranges and reds in the sky and it's a much warmer image so you can use the white balance to make an image look warmer or cooler so this top slide here if I move it to the right the further I move this to the right the warmer or hotter the image looks and if I come to the left the cooler or colder the image looks so that is basically what you're doing with the white balance now this will sort of can help you out if you've if you're taking especially if you're taking pictures indoors the sort of the heat of a light bulb the light from a light bulb is quite cool but it is a different sort of call to the heat of the light from a fluorescent bulb now if you've forgotten to sort of alter your camera settings when you're indoors you might still have it on a daylight setting and it will struggle to sort of compensate for the difference in light temperature so if you've done that you can use your white balance adjustment to bring the image back to looking normal rather than it sort of turning up very cold and blue because you haven't set up the camera correctly or you know for whatever reason you want it to look cooler or warmer you do also have under here a tint setting which you can go sort of make it look more green or more magenta which can help if like if you go to if you raise the white balance to make it look warmer and you go towards the green this will bring out more sort of yellow in that warmth and if you go towards the red it will sort of bring out a more red in that particular image so hopefully that covers the basics and so now i just want to sort of look at something slightly different and for this i'm going to open up a raw file and it should be here soon now there we go now this is a picture that i took of where i live in essex water on the nays it is now i'm not going to make any adjustments to this raw file other than looking at white balance which is down here in this tab here so I put a tick into white balance we then have the same sort of controls that we had looking at that previous image so you have the temperature slider and the tint slider and as you can see this particular image has got a Kelvin temperature of 5360 um, so again like before you can make it look cooler or warmer let me just re reset that 
Now the thing with uh, doing raw files, there is also over here in the tools on the left, a white balance tool. Now if I click on that, you then have this, the cursor changes to this sort of crosshair and you can click on certain areas of the image and this number down here which is 5360 at the moment if I click in the sky for example it will change that to 10230 and if I click down here in the sand it's much cooler at 4168 so it is not testing like the settings of the previous place I clicked it's just clicking and testing from the actual image itself so the C would be a different number altogether 5085 so you can sort of find a sort of balance color balance that you want from the image let me just reset this and it's gone back to 5360 and we're still on this tool now in this line along the bottom here it gives you some options to use with this tool and one is to set multiple uh, points to select from if you hold down the shift key while you click on various places in the image you will get a sort of average of those places now what I'm going to do I'm going to sort of click on various points along the beach as I go along I'm going to hold down the shift key now and I'll click once here there 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 and there and hopefully you can see down the bottom here it now says an average white points six current so I clicked six different times and we now have an average of 4082 now another option you have let me just reset this back again still on the white balance tool and the other option you have is to use the alt key rather than the shift key and get a sample from a rectangle that you draw out so I'll hold the alt key and I'll just draw out a rectangle of this sand here and let go and this has taken an average of that sand area and given me a Kelvin of 3984 so that is uh, the sort of options you have available in the develop persona using the white balance so I'm not going to develop this particular image I'll just cancel that yes there let's go back to that for a second and what I will do is I will open up the JPEG version of that image so this is how it came out of the camera and I'm going to add that white balance adjustment and although this doesn't measure in Kelvin it, it measures in percentages but you do still have those options that you had in the develop persona by using the picker if you click on this button it says picker that cursor again changes to that crosshairs and you can click on and around the image and you can see this will number here will change to life again it like said, it's not in Kelvin it's in percents so that's 14% up it's 53% and the sand is minus 28 and let me reset that and again like before it says down here along the bottom you can hold down the shift key and select from multiple points and you can see this one particularly I've got seven and it's given me a white balance of minus 32 reset that and again if I hold down the alt key I can draw out an area for it to take an average from and it has given me an average of minus 35 so that is sort of basically how you can use the white balance 
be it just picking individual areas or an average of certain points or an average of a selection that you have made. Now sort of a more practical use for this would be hang on I've already put this lady with the camera on this particular image is if you want to um, sort of color match if you're making a composition now there are various other ways of color matching but this might help with sort of color matching in the sense of you're making both of the images sort of of a similar color temperature I mean these two particular images are not that far away I don't think in color temperature but what I'll do is I highlight this image of this lady with the camera and I'll just go up here to sort of insert inside selection so when I add the white balance it will make that a child layer of just the lady with the camera but again I'm going to use the picker and I'm going to pick a color from the you know the image in the background and as you can see as I click around this number will change to wherever I am clicking because that point there when I clicked on that rock it made her much more sort of orangey and much warmer which is something I don't want I want to sort of cool it down a little bit and it's a case of finding what works so it doesn't look too bad I clicked up here in this cloud let me just close that off and I'll turn this white balance on and off it's very subtle you may not be able to see it I mean it looks better to me but let me just go back and try something another one see if I can find a setting that is you see the darker the colour the more warmer it gets let's try over here in the sea no I do think up here in the cloud that's not too bad so let's try that one on and off yeah she has sort of become a bit cooler and from my point of view it may not show up in the video as such but to my point of view she looks cooler and fits color wise better to the background so that is a use of the white balance to sort of help blend images to give them a similar sort of color toning I mean you may want to make other adjustments as well but that is a basic look at what the white balance can do so thank you for watching and goodbye